Welcome YouTube. We're here at uh, Tony O's house. This is Dom's tank. Today we have to replace one of these. This is a UV light for our Coral Life Turbo Twist UV lamp sterilizer. Sterilizer. And so this is a uh, well. This happens to be one that will fit. Um, this is made by Tetra. Tetra. Tetra Pond. Tetra Pond. Okay, so. Uh, I believe this will fit. It's a 36 watt, same as the coral light. And this is what it looks like when it gets burnt out. See the bottom there? All burnt out. And these are expensive lamps. This costs $72. 72 or 74? 72 dollars. 74 bucks. Including yeah. tax. Uh, 74 bucks plus tax, I want to say. I guarantee you. Look at the receipt. So. Uh, that's the uh, that's the bulb we're gonna replace. I took apart the uh, UV the UV housing unit. There's a locking mechanism, and so I undid the little latch. I twisted it to the open side. As you can see, there's the swirls in there where the water will go, and uh, so this goes in the housing to keep it completely dry. The water kind of swirls through there and ends up there. That's the idea is to keep it in there as long as possible, and then this is connected to our Eheim Pro Two. And this little light is our indicator to let us know that it is indeed working. And so that's how we knew it wasn't working because the light wasn't coming off. So you under the latch, you twist it, comes off, and then on the housing side, there is a screw, a little nut that needs to be undone, and the top comes off. And that's the top actually. But it looks like it it looks like it would be the bottom, but it's actually the top. And so now I'm going ahead and uh, trying not to touch it because what happens is the oil from your hands can get on the lamp and diminish the life of the bulb. So we really want to avoid touching the lamp and uh, if I have to, which I do, just grab it from the base until it clicks and it clicked in. Now I'm using this to really, this plastic cover that was Before shipped in. It. Okay. And it looks like it's got a little bit of a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess some blow, see, you know, glass blow defect on there. And uh, now what I'm going to do is, although this was had fallen off of it, I'm going to try to insert this spacer. And the spacer should go a little bit something like this. All right. So far, so good. And now I'm going to... Put the O-ring in. And the O-ring goes over. Well, it goes into this housing here. I'm gonna try to just put it in so I don't touch it. And excellent job. Steady hand. Should have been a surgeon. Right in there. Nice. And this is the housing. Which it's going to be a little bit of a task to get it in. It's a tight squeeze, but I'm going to make it work. Excellent. It stayed. It kept the uh, spacer in there, which is good. I'm going to screw it on. And we have success here. I'm just going to give it a little quarter turn. Boom. Bang. Bang. And now comes the housing. <clears throat> that goes on. And I'm going to, well, actually, I'm going to line it up with the locking hole. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Not be a hole. Okay, there's no hole. So I'm gonna put it on there. Turn it the other way to close. Push the locking tab down. We're almost Whoa. done here. Bring this nut back on there. Screw it on. Okay. Now that I've twisted everything around. 
I'm going to reattach the, this is the part of the filter where it goes in. It should, it should end up looking like this, correct? Yes. So, there is the filter side. Get this on here. This is going to be tough. What I'm going to do is I have a strategy for this. I am going to twist it a little bit, just give it a little bit of a head start. And, okay. So it's nice and secure. Just want to hand tighten it. So, okay. I'm going to screw this hose back on. Oh. And I believe we should be in, we should have it all, we should be back in biz here. And so that's how you change the UV bulb on the Turbo Twist Coral Life UV lamp. 12x36 watt. This is the 12x36 watt. Thanks, Tom. Cut.